Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, this is a video you guys specifically asked for to find out which is better between the Galaxy Buds Live and the Galaxy Buds Plus. Yes, the brand new Galaxy Buds Live are here, I've got them in house, and how do they stack up against the Galaxy Buds Plus, which a lot of people love and like? So let's start off with some of the specs here. So the both of them, of course, uh, have USB Type-C charging, which is great. So those are some similarities that they do have. Uh, the Buds Live has five hours, five minutes of charge, gives you an hour. And I believe the Buds Plus, it's 10 minutes of charge, gives you an hour of usage. Now, when it comes to um, wireless charging, they both have wireless charging, so that's also a good plus there. And when it comes to battery life for each one, with the Galaxy Buds Live, you do have 29 hours of battery life with eight hours on the earbuds if you have active noise cancellation off and six hours with active noise cancellation on. on. While the Galaxy uh, Buds Plus come with 22 hours, but it's 11 hours uh, with the earbuds and then of course an extra 11 hours on the case. So. You know, battery life here, the Buds Life have definitely more in terms of battery life. Now let's look at design. Now this is where they stand out quite drastically and differently, even from the case. So the Buds Plus have the traditional pill-shaped case, which the original Buds had, while the Buds Live have more of a trinket style case, uh, which again, they're both small, they're all both port portable, come in different colors. The Buds Plus have plethora of colors. There's a BTS uh, purple color, there's a red, which I like, I have right here. While the Buds Live come in mystic bronze, white, and black. Right now, when you look at the design of each of the earbuds, they look very unique and different. The Galaxy Buds look like a traditional buds with a nice surface area for the controls, and of course, a more intrusive ear tips, which give you a really solid seal, one of the best seals you will have for any true wireless buds out there. While the Galaxy Buds Live have a bean shaped design. Yeah, they look like a pair of beans, uh, but this is to give you a less intrusive uh, fit. It's also got an open uh, open back feel. So basically design, I call it a semi open back. Um, and uh, it's also got a different design feature set there. So the internals are different. Uh, in terms of drivers, the Galaxy Buds Live are running 12 millimeter drivers and they also have a base dock, which the Galaxy Buds Plus do not have. Uh, the Galaxy Buds Live have three microphones and also has a brand new VPU uh, unit, which detects your jaw when you're about to talk. So the microphones can activate and then capture your voice much better, which we'll get to in our mic test. And uh, also, of course, it's also got a pass through so that you can hear your surroundings much better. So design is different. Again, it's your choice if you want a complete seal or you want something that is a little bit more passive, especially if you're in a working environment. Now, let's get to the big thing, of course. For me, it is audio. Now, this is where uh, the Galaxy Buds Plus has done a really good job of the years, and I think it's still a solid pair where you've got some really nice highs, uh, decent mids, the lows not so much, but they are available right there on the Buds Plus. Um, you can use the EQs on the app to uh, basically customize what you're trying to listen to, while on the Buds Plus, the highs are much better. Uh, it's got also a bigger sound stage than the Buds Plus, and your lows really come up because of that bass duck. So there's more oomph to the, some of the some of the songs you're listening to. And I say in terms of audio, overall the Buds Live sound much better to me. Now again, with that open back feel of design, it feels really it just really feels really spacious with the with the Buds Live. So that's something I like about it uh, there. Now when you talking about active noise cancellation uh, with the Buds Live, as I said in my other video, not so much. It does cut out some noise on the lower end, uh, but not much and, and doesn't cut out in the traditional sense that you're thinking of because again, these are open back, semi-open back headphones. Uh, so which means it's slightly off, but not what you probably desire. While the Galaxy Buds Plus have a really good seal, so it cuts out a lot of noise. Uh, and again, when you turn into music, you really can't hear much. So in terms of ice, noise isolation, noise cancellation, it's the Buds Plus there for me. Now, let's talk about the microphones. Now, without even wasting any more time, I've got a new microphone test for you to check out. I'm gonna show you some indoor mic tests, some outdoor, and then one outdoor windy test so you guys can see between the Buds Live and the Buds Plus. 
Okay, I'm recording off the Galaxy Buds Live, using it here to capture sound. And uh, I'm up here, it might be a little bit windy, uh, there might be some noise from cars, but this will give you a good idea of how the microphone sounds, especially while you're walking and talking, you know, on the road, you know. So some wind's coming in. This should be a good, good uh, capture point in terms of what this microphone can actually do. So let's uh, check the others. All right, so we are doing the microphone test and this is the Galaxy Buds Plus. As you can see, they're red in my ear and you're getting to hear the microphone off this camera. So I'm re-recording this because it got a bit windy and I wanted to capture uh, the microphone with more wind coming in and of course a little bit more noise uh, just to see what the Galaxy Buds Live actually do uh, with a windier or louder environment okay so we are testing the microphone on the Galaxy Buds Plus the red ones here uh, it's giving you some environment it is much windier now uh, but it was windy there might be some honking uh, giving you a good idea of how the microphone sounds this, uh, when you have a conversation in a semi-realistic uh, setting here's a quick microphone sample of the Galaxy Buds Live uh, and this is just to show you how it sounds uh, while capturing and having a conversation indoors. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. All right, here is a microphone capture of the Galaxy Buds Plus. I've got the red ones. And this is a capture indoors of uh, the microphone uh, to see how it sounds indoors. Again, with a fan on and a few things. Same settings as you'd expect. So... There you go. Wow, so that was quite interesting. The Buds Live sound really, really good. Outdoors, indoors as well. Um, it, this it makes a lot of sense why Samsung really touted the connectivity with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in terms of pairing and using it as a microphone. Um, and the Buds Plus do sound good. There's, they're, they're not bad. They actually handled, I thought, pretty well in terms of the windy conditions. And they sounded good indoors as well. So um, the Buds Plus do a really good job and I've experienced them over phone calls, but the Buds Live clearly have a much better microphone and also that VPU comes into play um, as well. Now, finally, battery life. Now, as I mentioned, one's 29 hours, one is 22, but you have a different use case scenario here. With the Galaxy Buds Plus, you've got 11 hours on the Buds themselves, so you've got a longer amount of time while listening to audio. While the Buds Live, you've got six to eight hours, and it depends if you're using active noise cancellation. So you're gonna find yourself, if you're one of those people who wear them for a pre pretty long period of time, you're gonna have to charge in between at some point. But I have to say though, it really comes down to what you're trying to do and listen to. I've got to say as a whole, the Galaxy Buds Live really impressed me, minus the active noise cancellation. And I think that's more because Samsung just didn't accept to say these are open back headphones. And I understand that it's gonna be very different. Uh, but as a whole, the audio is great, some really solid battery life, the microphones sound really good, and I think it's an overall great pair. But remember, they are open back headphones, which means sound's gonna get through. So it's great for uh, a work environment or if you've got kids at home and you still wanna listen to phone call, have a phone call or talk and make sure you know where they are and also maybe listen to your boss if you eventually go to work. So that's great. The Buds, uh, plus give you a much better isolation seal and I think uh, that will work well for people who are trying to cut off more noise altogether. So there you have it guys. That is it and I think to me the Buzz Live take the slight edge here in this one but I, I definitely still like the Buds Plus. If you have any questions or any comments let me know. If you want to pick up any of these two bad boys use the link down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy your entertainments.